Hey everybody, it's me JSFT back again for another review. This time we're looking at from the Marvel Legends line in Iron Man, the Silver Centurion armor. All right, let's just go into just how he looks. I gotta say, he looks pretty cool. It's his helmet, I'm not sure if that's scruff marks that he had or it's something that was just recently put on him. I don't know. I got him on eBay and... It's a bit scruffy. I might fix that up. Might not. I don't know. But it still looks cool. The whole design of him looks pretty, pretty neat. He's got this nice silver with the very crimson or cherry apple red kind of thing going. Some nice detailing. Got some black lining on him. And, you know, it just looks really nice. It's Definitely paid a lot of good attention to detail. I mean, if you, if you look him around at the side. Alright. Even in the back. He was supposed to, I think in the, I think he's supposed to come with something. I'm not sure, some sort of accessory. But I just got the figure itself. And, I don't know, he just looks really cool, really cool. And... Now, if you remove this, remove this mask, it's very rubbery. He does have a Tony Stark face in it. He looks kind of odd. I don't know. It just looks, I mean, it's nicely detailed and whatnot, but I don't know. He just, nothing, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So let's just put this back on. There you go. And it's all friction base. So there you go. All right. But definitely, this is a Chirion armor. Very, very nice looking figure. Alright, articulation wise, his head can go all the way around. That's pretty much it. His arms can go up to that point. Down can go up to about that. I mean, you can, I think you can go. Now nah, I'm gonna try to force it. Go up to that point. Up to that point. Kinda. Bend at the elbow, he's got a double hinge elbow right there. He's got articulation right there. His hands can go in and out like so. And he can bend his fingers. That's pretty much it. And he can also move his... See right here, he can move this part so it gets... You know, some more extra articulation, which is pretty cool. He's got this joint right here very stiff but he gets some sort of movements all right and he can also move right down there so you get all this type of motion all this erosion and toshin and whatever all right legs can go about up to that point and there up to there and back twist right at the thigh double hinge knee like so he can rotate right at the top of the boot He's got articulation there, there, side to side, and foot. He's got articulation up the wazoo, people. And I have to point this out really quick. The arm length looks redonkulous. Look at that. His arms are long, man. It was like some sort of suit was made for a gorilla or something. I mean, I'm not, com I mean, it's not a complaint. I mean, he still looks awesome, but I'm just, you know, just when I saw him, like, man, he's got some long ass arms, man. I mean, he can, like, pose, like, like this, maybe. I don't know, man. He can scratch his own armpit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It just looks ape like. But he's still awesome. So, overall, the Silver Centurion armor looks freaking badass, man. This guy is so freaking sick. I mean, the armor design. I, I just I love this armor. This is my one. Of, this is my favorite armor that Tony Stark has ever made in the comics that he's ever worn. I just love the armor. I love the color scheme, the silver with the red, and just the whole design of him just looks really really cool. The articulation is just crazy. I mean, you get him some pretty pretty sick poses, and I really like him a lot. I mean, I did a little joke about the arms, but. The, the figure overall is just freaking awesome, man. And if you haven't gotten him, if you are into the Marvel Legends or if you are into, like, Iron Man figures, they definitely, you definitely need to get him. 
Um, not sure how it goes, but I'm pretty sure you pretty you could pretty find him on the on the cheap side at on the internet, like on eBay. You know, if you look around enough. But definitely, if you haven't gotten him, definitely get him if you are into the Marvel Legends or Marvel figures in general. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. I am Jay Asante with the Marvel Legends Silver Centurion armor, and I will talk to you all later, baby. So peace.